Hello again. As I mentioned a while ago, I've lately begun publishing on Substack, and although so far the material there has been factual, mixed, of course, with my own personal views and opinions, I thought that it might be interesting to try publishing fiction there as well. As I dare say most of you know, I'm the author of many westerns. Some of these have been published under my own name, but I've written so many I've had to use various pseudonyms, as well as more than one publisher as well. This is because at one time, more than one or two of my novels in this genre were being published each month, and so the publisher wanted to make it look as though more authors were writing for them than was really the case. Among my many aliases were Fenton Sadler, Brent Larson, Bill Cartwright, Ethan Harker, Ed Roberts, Jethro Carl, Jay Clanton, Jack Tregarth, and of course Harriet Cade, by which it will be rightly guessed that I was knocking things out on an industrial scale. <laughs> In recent years, I've been more occupied with books on popular history, of course, but for a pastime, I've also written a few novels which were not westerns. I simply do not have either the time or energy to start pitching these to publishers or agents, so I thought I'd publish them in instalments on Substack, which I began using a few weeks ago. I'm reading a lot of Anthony Trollope at the moment, and it was this which gave me the idea of publishing in instalments in this way. He and Dickens used to do that, of course, in uh, places like the Cornhill magazine. I give a link in the description to this video, and I shall be putting up 10,000 words of the thing there twice a week. It is perhaps not a brilliant production from a purely literary perspective, but I enjoyed writing it, <coughs> and it is, of course, free for anybody who cares to read it. I suppose I should say a few words about the book. It's called Sisters, and it's a psychological study of the lives of four women, one of whom has committed a series of murders. In some ways it resembles a traditional whodunit, like Agatha Christie, in that the reader doesn't learn until the end of the book which of the four suspects carried out the crimes. It's not a straightforward narrative, though. The story weaves back and forth over a period of 20 years, showing the same incidents from the differing points of view of the characters. Gradually, a picture's built up of a dysfunctional family life and uh, unhappy childhoods which have produced four women, all of them capable of murder. Their lives have been blighted in various ways by the actions of a man, the father of three of them, whose sexual promiscuity has cast a long shadow which stretches back almost a quarter of a century and whose actions have helped create an habitual killer. Anyway, I'd be interested to know what the viewers here make of it. If you just click on the link in the description to this video and you will find yourself straight there.